Here let us discuss how to evaluate trigonometric ratios of angles which are greater than 360 degrees. Let us start with the example itself. Say we are supposed to find sine of 390 degrees. Now clearly 390 degree means the angle has completed one full rotation and then it's going to end up in the first quadrant. In order to calculate the value, we are now interested in finding the reference angle with the x-axis. So, we are going to write this as sine of 360 plus 30 degrees. Clearly, this is 30 degrees and x-axis is the line of reference. So, sine is going to remain as sine reference angle and sine is positive in first quadrant. So, the answer is plus 1 by 2. So, basically we are saying that if you see a theta which is greater than 360 degrees, say theta is 420 degrees, first of all subtract 360 degrees to find the reference angle. We get 60 degrees here. Now if we have to find cos of 420 degrees, that will be same as writing cos of 360 plus 60 degrees and again 360 is on x axis so x axis is the line of reference and this will be equal to cos of 60 degrees positive sign because all ratios are positive in the first quadrant. Now suppose our theta is 840 degrees. We subtract 360 from 840 we get 480 degrees. That means our angle is taking a second rotation. So that means we have one full rotation 360 degrees and then the second rotation. Now you want to see where will the terminal side of the angle land up? For that, we need to again subtract 360 degrees from it and we are left with 120 degrees. That means the terminal ray of this angle is going to land up in the second quadrant and the angle that it's going to make with the x-axis will be 120 degrees. Say we have to find sine of 840 degrees. We can write it equal to sine of 120 degrees and we know how to evaluate those angles. We have already discussed. So quickly I will write this is equal to sine of 180 minus 60 which is equal to sine of 60 and a positive sign. So that's root 3 by 2.